and you'll see this in our videos as we go through. So let me fast forward in the videos and talk over these because it's going to be me live, not me on the field talking. So here's our traditional lead. Oh, I got to stop something for a second. In the traditional lead, by the way, I always have our runners start with their left foot. When they start with their left foot, they're less likely to cross their feet. It's something as small as that. If you start with your right foot, the kids tend to crisscross cross their feet on step number two and step number three. A good left-hander that has a snap pickoff will recognize that and he can throw over. Might not pick you off, but he's going to scare the, pl the player a little bit. Okay, so you'll see these guys taking left, one, two, three, and there's his half. This is a step and a dive. Secondary, and then he's back hard. Okay, so watch the next player again do the exact same thing. One, two, three. And a half. He's slightly open. Secondary, shuffle, shuffle. Hard back because there was nothing that happened. Okay? <clears throat> now, if he was in that primary lead in that three and a half step, if he had a pickoff, he's set up for a step and a dive. This is where the right-handed pitcher, back of the base. That's what they're practicing right there. You can see where he went back to the base. Left-hander, go to the front of the base. Okay. Here's our vault lead. Now, let me preface this. I have a pitcher on the mound. Okay, a guy simulating the pitcher, and he's going to go in a one. So he's basically coming set and going. So this we kind of preempted that he guessed right of the three choices. Okay? Again, you guess one of three, or you even increase your odds by tracking them by video, by synergy, by the patterns you have from the dugout. You even increase it. But I'll take one out of three chance every time. On the first four pitches, i got to get it right, and I'm gone. Okay? So watch this here how this works. We'll do two in a row. So you'll see he's only in a two-step lead, and he's guessing at the bottom. Go, go. And then the guy delivered, and he would have gone. Now, again, if we would have guessed wrong and that pitcher held, he would have stopped in that three and a half. You can see that he's got get same guess on. There, and then boom, he's gone. You saw actually McNeil there. He's actually going to pause for a second, but he's got a little bit of momentum. Slow motion. You can see him stop. There's three and a half. The guy happened to deliver, he's gone. That stolen base happens all the time. It's very tough to throw somebody out, even when they're a 1-1, one, 1-2 one, one, the plate, which is where the vault lead works. How many coaches out there get intimidated? They're like, oh, man, this kid's like a .9 to the plate. We can't steal. He shut the running game down. This is what gets the running game back on again, okay?